In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this diagonal fade transition. To begin, I just have two clips here that I'd like to put my transition between. Let's start by heading over to the effects panel. Go to Video Transitions, Wipe, and then scroll down to the regular wipe effect. Drag it between your two clips. If it doesn't fit like mine, that's alright, we'll fix that next. Select the transition you just added and go up to Effect Controls. Change its speed to last for one second. And also switch the alignment to Center at Cut. Then click the top left corner arrow so that our wipe is diagonal. Back down on the timeline, we need to duplicate our first clip. To do this, hold down the Alt key while dragging the first clip up onto the track above. Cut the clip at the start of the transition. Then delete the footage before the cut. Now you have a couple choices here on how to extend your clip based on your footage. If like me, you already made a cut at the end of your footage, you can just extend your duplicated clip to match the length of the transition. Otherwise, if you have nothing to extend, right click your duplicated clip and go to Speed Slash Duration. Change the speed to 50% and hit OK. Next, select your duplicated clip and go over to Effect Controls. Position the time head at the start of the duplicated clip. The opacity stopwatch toggle should already be on by default, but if it's not, make sure it's turned on. Click the circle between the two arrows to create a starting keyframe. Move the time head to the end of the duplicated clip and change the opacity to zero to create the ending keyframe. And now when I play this back, we have a diagonal faded wipe transition. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.